All right, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back into another video. Now today's video, I'm here to do a couple of things all at the same time because none of the things actually deserve just this solo video. Um, first of all, here's a little change on PDS, by the way, and I'll explain that in just a few seconds. Now you can see the titles of people when you're in custom lobbies. So as you can see here, I can see my own title and I can see my wife's title over there, Mr. Moneybags. And this is a cool addition, nothing too serious, but it's still really cool. Now, for those who don't know what PDS is, in case you have noticed on the right side underneath on uh, my crystals and my gold, I got a lot of golden crystals, right? Well, that's because this is PDS. This is a public test server. This is not the live server. This is not the normal server you guys are playing in right now, probably. Okay, this is a test server that you need to go on the Steam page of Paladins, scroll a little bit and you'll find a notice saying, do you want to become a tester? Click here to download PDS. And basically you click there, you download PDS and you have everything in PDS for free. But PDS is only open in specific times. So right now it's open because of the next patch to come with the Egyptian Battle Pass that you've, some of you already probably know. For those who don't know, I advise you to go on my channel. I have videos there explaining the new patch to come. It's not here yet, and it's going to take at least like two weeks until it gets into the game. I know that there's around like 18 days left on our current battle pass back on the live servers. So yeah, there you go, sort of the time when that patch is coming up. Now, one of the changes of the game was that Frog Asl was completely reworked, visually mostly, but there's also a couple other changes that I wanted to show you. And I also wanted to talk about a change that I found out that it's not on the patch notes. This is not mentioned anywhere as far as I am concerned. It's time to so, choose your champion. You guys already probably oh, saw the thumbnail and the title. I'm just gonna lower here the sound because we really don't need the sound this loud. Okay, here's another change, but this one is actually in uh, the test notes, the, the patch notes, I mean. Uh, when you before when you would press this little button right here or you pressed escape What basically would do is it would force you to go into the game without a loadout. So That is fixed and now we're taking a look here into the new map some of you already probably seen this But it's fine. We're still gonna go over things that I found out through the map that I wanted to talk about I'm gonna talk about certain bugs of the map and some changes like the biggest changes for me at least that happened in this map and then finally when I get my ult by the way we're gonna get morale when I get my ult I'm going to show you guys what happened to the ultimate of Imani now uh, here's our first change so this used to be an open wall now it's no longer an open wall it's a closed wall but with an open ceiling and if you go up here you can actually stand here which is actually funny and probably just a bug. It's not supposed to be like this. My wife can get up here if she wants to. Jump up here. Ta-da! So it's really weird because this is not supposed to be like this. I'm just gonna give a couple shots to her so I can get my ultimate as fast as possible. And now let's go over the next few changes. Uh, this tree over there, I don't think this tree up there was there, but this sort of looked in the same way that it is. This used to be a rock over here. Now it's this big pile of uh, debris and so on. This tree is a lot thicker, you know, a lot, lot more chunky. You can still get up here. You just need to find the right spot, which I, I clearly can't find. There it is. So it's a lot th thicker and chunky and it you can clip sort of through it because it, it is not supposed to be this thick and then there's this little tree that it wasn't here now i know what some of you are probably thinking oh this means that now people like for example a tour vault cannot shoot from all the way over there to push this out of the map we're gonna go and hit the tree well that is not necessarily true as you can see my wife is shooting the tree it's doing the the hitting of there even my fire is doing the explosion against the tree but if i go against the tree she doesn't exist the tree does not exist so that probably needs to be fixed it's a problem of collision just gonna give a couple more shots here for her there we go and this also changed now i am not sure if we can go up there i haven't tested that but if you try to go up here on top of these little pillars, you're going to straight down out of the map. So I don't advise you to do that. Although I would love for actually to them to leave it. Like, I mean, it's it's a, a plane. It's like this, right? It's it's a uh, smooth. So it should be it should be an option for us to stand there like a mave or something. 
She fell. <laughs> now we're gonna try to go over there. Which I don't think that we can get up here, but... Hey. We're testing, we're testing. Yeah, we can do it. And I fell out of the map too. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Let's get morale. Oh, I can't get morale too. Nah, I'm just gonna use the, the horse to go into the middle of the map. Now, I'm not gonna check my wife's side of the map because how it's as it is obvious, the other side looks the same way as this because it's symmetrical up from the middle. I'm still waiting for the day that they're gonna put like some sort of a tunnel over here until the other side. So there's like an extra flanking route, maybe over there. It would go under the mountain and come out over there. That would be so cool. This changed, the only thing that did not change was our, those little butterflies over there. This over there as well has changed, now we have more frogs all over the place. You can't stand, however, on top of this. Except that I, I just can't control my, my slide, I'm an idiot. And my wife missed it by an inch, so... Now, there's still a problem of clipping over there, but we'll see that later. Okay, so you can stand up here now. Which you could still before, but it's just showing that they changed it visually, but it still works. There was a bug over here that would make you like go crazy. It's not here anymore as well. Um, but there is still a little bit of clipping over here, as you can see. Okay, now on to the ultimate. Where is my wife so I can shoot her? I'm gonna kill you. No. There, we got the ult. So, before I go into the ult, I'm going to explain. There's an extra thing on the ultimate, which... Uh, I don't know exactly what it is for. I am guessing that it's for one thing. Uh, but And I also tested multiple different things, so you have the idea. Now, I'm going to go on the ults without any more weight. And there it is. You got this little bar over here. Now, initially I thought this bar is the HP of the dragon. My wife can shoot the dragon. It doesn't move. Alright. What does happen, though, you see that it's going down now? What it, this happens is basically telling me that after it ends a few seconds, like one, two seconds, and I'm be back into my original body. So basically, I think it is for that, because... My original body being attacked, it doesn't change that bar. I am pretty sure because we tested that out as well. Um, but uh, I think it only activates like in the last few seconds of the the ultimate because they it, they nerfed that that um, that ultimate right to like what 20 seconds or something, and so people know when it's going to end you probably this the little bar starts going down but it's not immediate like as soon as the bar goes down it's not immediate and you just get back into the body no but this allows you to know okay in less than one or two seconds after that bar ends i'm praise pretty much just gonna go back so might as well just go back now or something like that or so you be careful so you're not pressing buttons when uh which a lot of people have done when you're in the ultimate you do some buttons and then you would just jump off the map sometimes or you shoot maybe the frost bomb which you didn't want and you do this by accident or you just activate the cannon depending on what you had and it's all a mistake so it allows you to do that but i'm still waiting for some sort of an a ui like the one of the hp we have there on the left on the left underneath of the money but right there like a little bit above of that one and when you go on the dragon that bar becomes the dragon's bar and on top of it there's the imani bar which you guys can see it when you're on the dragon because you'll see like this sort of a indicator back here because usually imani is in the back you're gonna see her hp and a little icon and it will start blinking red supposedly when you start taking damage but i still think that it's not enough i would still put a, the the extra bar of hp over there but um yeah, you guys let me know what you think about this little bar. Do you think that it's something that it's good, it's not good? Uh, I think it's actually pretty decent. I like it. It was about time that she had some sort of a help on her ultimate, since her ultimate's not so easy to destroy now. And maybe fix this little bit of a lock time after the drag with the, the, the cannon as well. All right, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think about this new map changes. And what do you think about the ultimate secret change to money as well? Do you think it's good? Not bad? What would you change? What would you not change? And if you want to talk to me, 
you can always find me. I will be live streaming on my own channel or in the Paladins game channel pretty much like the next few days, every single day. Just check out like my Twitter or my Discord. You're gonna have notifications there. On the Paladins game channel, it will be from 5 to 8 p.m. London time. Beyond that, I may be live on my own channel. Just check it out, the notifications. You can always go on my Instagram. I also have an Instagram, which is creepers.26. So just search for it, really easy to get. And I usually put something there saying that I'm live. So that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys there. And until then, have a wonderful time, people.